Welcome to Kenny Bunkport in Maine, USA and welcome to the Seashore Trolley Museum as we take a tour of this great site. Travelling the world on planes, trains, trams and more. Join Mark Hopwood as he shows you some of the great journeys he's made. Travel with him as he takes you to a whole variety of destinations. And just remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and give Mark your comments on this video. So here we are in a delightful part of America, New England, Kenny Bonkport in Maine. And this YouTube channel is planes, trains, trams, and more. And here's a bit of the trams. I always get quite a lot of viewers for the planes bit. Not so much for the trains, maybe even less for the trams. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you around the great museum that is the Seashore Trolley Museum here in Kenny Bunkport. You can combine this with a visit, of course, to New England, maybe getting uh, some fresh lobster, having a look at the scenic area uh, that is uh, New England. I visited in August, so not quite in time for autumn or the fall, uh, as they call it. But some sights here of the museum in the building uh, here at Kenny Bunkport before I headed out to have a look at the vehicles. And that was one of the vehicles in use on the occasion of my visit, along with a vehicle they call a toast rack uh, vehicle, which was uh, also in use. There's quite a lot of vehicles that are stored or under restoration uh, and not used day to day. So it's well worth having a look around. As well as the trolleys, there are some rail vehicles, including these strange vehicles, the state-of-the-art cars built by the US Department for Transportation in the early 70s. But of course, it's the traditional trolleys and trams that most people come to see and that most people will ride on during a visit. There's a short area of track around the museum, but that leads out onto a demonstration line that runs for uh, a small number of kilometers to a loop. And we'll see that shortly. And of course, we wanted to have a look at the full line and we watched the tram arriving uh, having already done a trip out that morning and here it is running towards us at the main station on the loop where the trams terminate and then they run around the loop to head back out again uh, in the same uh, direction this car called the toast rack car tram number 303 from one of the trolley lines that's disappeared now from the state of Connecticut. So car 303 was actually built right back in 1901, ran of course in passenger service for a number of years and was then kept as a special car to come out into traffic just to serve the sports stadium at Yale and to uh, operate those special trips as well as some excursions to local beaches as well. It entered preservation way back in 1948 and has been a constant uh, feature of the Seashore Trolley Museum pretty much ever since.
So the museum runs trams and trolleys over the trackbed of the old Atlantic shoreline, one of many routes in North America that was closed down. And it's four miles long and it runs up to this turning circle that I've provided an oversight of there, just so you can see how the trams deviate here from the main route and then turn round that turning circle and then head back towards the museum for another sort of four mile uh, run. That's the old track bed, which uh, long abandoned, of course, and uh, maybe one day might see some more uh, trolleys. And now we head onto uh, that turning circle. You can see the return track at the uh, junction here. And uh, you can get off and have a look around in the countryside. We chose to stay on board the tram and to take uh, the trip back uh, from Talbot Park on the same vehicle uh, straight away, as I have to say, did most of the people on board Trolley 303, which we were on. Because trolley companies 120 years ago created destinations along their routes. They'd go out to the end of the line, perhaps, put a loop in so they could turn the cars around easily, and uh, give people a chance to get out of the hot, smelly cities into the woods. Or in Maine, we have an interesting phenomenon. We have a seacoast here. So we got a lot of beaches, and we're ready to go. No answer me. Yeah, we can go. Now the fact we just rode up was an original streetcar line running from Kinnabun Court up along the Long Cabin Road that you rode in on, up to where the driveway came in, and then it just went all the way up to Bitterfield. Yes, there was a lot of distance between cities. So some of that would get going 89 miles an hour. And so we run into Morrison Hill Station where we chose to alight and to get off the trolley to go and have a look at the car sheds and some of the vehicles parked in the area. So as car 303 heads off to the terminus, we were able to walk around the car sheds, the vehicles just outside to have a look at the Donald Curry uh, workshops, which were just down this path. And interesting to be able to go inside to have a look 
at the viewing gallery to see the work that is well underway to restore this vehicle. And it looks like a real wreck, but this is, there's, there's a lot more of this car that survived that needed to be replaced, and you can see that with these posts here. Is this the only one that survived? From and that brings us towards the end of our visit to the Seashore Trolley Museum at Kenny Bunkport in Maine. I hope you enjoyed my look round and after we disembarked and had a look round the car sheds we also were able to look at some of the buses from the 1980s and 90s that are preserved. I remember seeing these in use in the US when I visited many decades ago. Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video real soon.